Okay, and welcome back. We are going to do this quick Vigo fight. Because I did not know it was an ex Empath of Champions, and I want to see what it is, so... Let's find out. And let's try that again, buddy. I took a brief look at this. It looks pretty straightforward, as you can see. Only a couple of branching paths, it looks like. No voice acting, boo. I'm certainly not gonna have voice act. <laughs> okay. Let's. Tr uh, so there's a branch path here. Then we got a mini boss for Gnar. That's gotta be a heal. And then we got another branch path here. Another heal. Okay. Uh, well, guess we just go battlefield training. I'm using Misfortune because he's my highest level character. I mean, it's only difficult once. So I don't imagine this being too difficult, but that's the reason we're doing this with Misfortune. Minion, get over here. <laughs> I'd be worried too. I have thousands of you. Lovely. <laughs> okay. So, game start, the phone creates a minion, and okay, so it's just a never-ending minion. Well, it's only once, though, so... So, it shouldn't be too bad. And again, difficulty once, I'm not expecting anything too difficult. <clears throat> of course, I did not familiarize myself with Miss Fortune's deck again, so we we'll see how this is. Uh, making rain's probably not that needed, especially since the double ending minions. <coughs> okay. What we got here? 2-2 two, two, or 1-1 one, one elusive? Uh, let's just go with elusive for now. Out before they know they're bleeding. They won't feel it first. Doesn't even start with mana the first time. <laughs> yeah, this is really simple. Okay, just play MF. Open wide, sugar. Yeah, so this would be um we much came after this next attack turn, so as you expect, not too difficult. Fool, do not doubt. We did kind of low all our scout, but not that big of a deal. It won't be first. Love ya. So what I find interesting though is the um, is there's two versions of this fight, but the second version, which you don't get to much later in the event pass, is also only difficulty one, so... <laughs> so 
<laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. We was real probably. And some cost is completely useless, and I have. And my hatred for um, core creatures still stands. I mean, I gotta imagine we're probably just never actually gonna need the Boo's Row. Because, like, most of these games are probably gonna be over before we, <laughs> before we get that far, but. Jeez, there's not even another fight before we get an item. Okay, um... I wish I passed the power again, I'm, I'm like completely... Um, I gotta show to remember what can I say, so... Yeah, so we definitely want to be aggressive. Uh, so this is dead. Yeah. Death marks pretty bad in Zed's bucket, but that's okay. Uh, plus four, plus four, but cost two more. I think I actually will go ahead and do this. Because I'd, I'd rather play Misfortune on 3 anyway, so I think playing Zed on 5 as a massive finisher is probably good. I'd also just go with the pickaxe, but yeah. God stop. Now you're going to have money for the God stop. Yep. Uh, let's see anything good here. Yeah. This card sucks, the manifest is good. Hmm, what do I want to do here? I definitely want at least one of these cards, just because of skill 8. Then again, I'm never actually recalling it, so it's literally just 8 mana, heal 8. Which is maybe just not great. I want the Bayou Bunches. The Manifest is really good. You know, I'm gonna save my gold for now. Okay, so it looks like Noah's gonna be going pretty big with that on Passive Power. So we definitely wanna try to kill him right away. We've got what the um, yeah the the harpoon that could potentially kill Noah. Um, what do you want to do here? Item is this again? So let's see. We're not attacking on turn three, which would be a little nice. Uh. Maybe it's not that good, big of a deal. I'm just thinking, am I gonna have to, like, not play anything the first two turns to make sure I have Master Harpoon on turn, turn four? Which might not be that big of a deal if I don't draw anything, anyways. Yeah, I didn't draw anything, anyways. I mean, I guess to play this and still play Monster Harpoon on five. Well, I'm in four, so let's do that. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. Zaka, Zaka, of course, I can't really um, attack into that. No prey. Uh, this looks like a pretty good make it rain. Yeah, we're just gonna let Gnaw hang out for a while. Next turn. Okay, yeah, just kill everything. Seems good. And plus, we actually are gonna plunder cost here, so... Still kill Gnaw if we want to. So it's a decent chance we're still doing. Just go ahead and just do that. Got Zed to be down next to him. Yeah, completely over. I am the blade in the darkness. 
always gotta wonder is like, is Zed better or an 8 8 scout better, you know? <laughs> Actually, take a point of damage, boo. Cut the breath from them. My kind of pirate. Not like we don't get a full hit after this or anything. Awesome, we didn't even get a heal before this fight, did we? <laughs> yeah, we only got a shot, we got no heal. Usually, there's a healer before the um, before the mid boss, but I guess since this is so easy, you don't need a healer. Love ya. <laughs> you call that annihilation? Oh, now I turned to Mega Nar. Help! <laughs> Don't piss off Nar. Um, is there any reason to take Ollie? Like, is there anything in our deck that benefits from being bounced? The higher gun. But the pawn that is, we do have a passive. Yeah. That's why I like to take um, champions. This invokes kind of calling my name. Oh, what the heck are these? These are special ones. Uh, so random item to each card in your deck for this game. That seems kind of nice. Ten level two champions. They cost one less. That also seems kind of nice. Okay, that's completely useless. Um, so I think I think the item as as fun as this one is, it's definitely gotta be the item. Plus, there's like there's a bunch of bad level two champions. Uh, yeah, we're just taking the manifest. Either way, it's pretty bad. Judgment's nice and all, but it's probably just not needed. Okay, it looks like we only got two more fights this one, and I imagine this one's a healer, but could be wrong. There's actually not another item shop, though, unless this one actually is an item shop. But, like, maybe I should actually use my gourd. Cause I figured there'd be another item shop down here. <clears throat> Not that big of a deal. So what is this? Interesting. So it looks like it swarm you very easily, cause like every unit is basically two units. Already got to the seventh stage. Well, it's not like there's that many fights. <laughs> what are you buying, Viga? You don't look the same. Yeah, not too much of the ten itself is going to be like four units for one god. That doesn't seem fun. Oh yeah, the, now, the, now this is why I wanted random items, like, a, a, a random epic item, that's gotta be better than champions. Does, is it only for the cards that are on your starting deck though? Cause like, didn't this have a random item on it? Maybe we read it. No, it does like, uh, yeah, I don't know about this one. Anyways, uh, so this be a 4 8 on turn 4, which is pretty darn good. Why the heck do I have a. Where did this come from? This isn't in my deck, is it? I'm so confused. 
Uh, well, I guess I play it, so I don't take any damage this turn, but... Like, why is it in my deck? <laughs> I guess we're still taking damage because of the stupid inferior copy. And let's pass and see if he plays a two drop so we could um, hire gun it. Well, we could hire gun it. I mean, we should probably still attack into it so, so we're not getting attacked by a 4 1 next turn. Who's on top of the bounty board today? You point, I shoot. Oh, that's nice, because if he develops the misfortunes, it's going to kill it thanks to the item on her. It's good to be the king. I don't have any way to do with this 4 2, though. But that's okay. I'm one of the good guys. Take another 4 damage, not the worst thing in the world. We could block the one full that attacks us. Time to collect! Ooh, got some fight in ya. I mean, we could just, like, do Make this, take wild. no damage. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah, let's just play Navigator next turn. Dangerous water. Hmm. Oh, the the uh, that one drop comes with, came with a Z, didn't it? Yeah, now 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 I figured out where that one drop came from. Love ya. I forgot how bad Zed fucking actually is. It's like he's got the really good card and then he's got that one drop and he's got the death mark. Big mistake. Uh, we just playing another navigator just for the jump blocker. Probably. We are ready, always. Something to keep us moving. You've made your path. Yeah, that being fierce seems a little annoying. Who I guess if you just block like this, it's completely fine. Damn, it looks like we probably just have open attack loot though. Yeah, that looks like cool. That's why I'm the captain. Nice. Uh, yeah, that seems pretty strong. The item chest over spells seems good. Uh, this being a look is not that great, but it being plus one plus one is not bad. Yeah, let's just go and take it. Oh, it is a card stop, so there's like literally no healing in this map. That's a little odd. Okay, well I guess um, holding on to gold kind of paid off. Uh, I do have one invoke already in the deck. I think I buy three of these. Wait. Okay, no, I was yeah. And I'm probably gonna buy three of Koshi Mist because that is a really powerful item on it. And then I'm probably gonna re-roll. Uh, I don't really need a fleeting copy of this. Uh, none of these seem that great. Probably we will again.
I don't know how useful the Nopify is going to be. The, um, this kind of monster harpoon, though, is probably pretty good. It does kind of, kind of put, like, make not very good use of the other item already on it, but that's fine. I keep on forgetting we could buy reward tokens. Want. It's gonna reroll again. Uh, one for scout doesn't seem all that great. All these seem pretty bad. Uh, one mana re one run invoke and a two mana six four. Oh, it's a four mana six. Uh, was that five six seven? Yeah. Got both of those. Uh, that's completely useless. Uh, could buy the ice quake just in case the next boss goes wide. I think I'm only going to buy one of them because I certainly don't want a bunch of those stuck in my hand. Uh, we'll probably find buying a bunch of, uh, three copies of these though. Because they're basically free since they summon a unit. And yeah, we don't have any more good luck anyways. We could buy one more bone skewer. Just for the fun of it. Which is not really needed to be honest. Uh, let's see, the first time the... Oh my goodness, that seems kind of bad. Every time the <laughs> every time the enemy enemy plays something, I'm taking at least two damage to unit or to my nexus. Wow. I mean, I don't think it's going to be that bad, because I, like, again, it's difficulty one, so he's probably got, like, a bunch of, like, fairly more expensive units, I'd imagine. But against, like, uh, like, if this had a bunch of, like, one drops or something, there's, like, no chance any deck could ever really compete against a darkness being cast. And it's every unit, isn't it? I know, so this is the first time. So it is just basically one one free darkness every turn, which is still pretty darn good, don't get me hey wrong. Don't mind the night. I'll be quick. No, I actually have another one on top, because I'm pretty sure I don't have any other lookers in the deck. <laughs> Indeed, that isn't the case. Like, do I even bother killing this? Because then, if I kill this, he's getting basically guaranteed two damage on one of my units every turn. Uh, yeah, let's just try to race him down. Now, the thing is, I don't really want to attack and then he plays a unit and there's a 33% chance this 4 1 dies. I would like to lessen that odds a little bit. No, well, it's kind of dying anyways, but that's okay. They'll get a good attack in. Got me. Open wide. Didn't make it rain. Nah. One of my units have a... Like, I don't... 
I'm mean, playing with. I did guess I did pass turn two. No, I guess yeah, that's right. Okay. Don't mind me. Just. Easy, tiger. Just uh, confused. You know, just a simple four man and nine ten, nothing big. I mean, at this point, the hit on two damage every turn. Well, it's certainly soon going to be three damage thanks to Vigo sticking on the board, but it certainly doesn't seem that scary at the moment, does it? Oh, well then. Yeah, you gotta imagine Vigo's just going to block here, so. I guess yeah. Tucker could have maybe attacked with like one less. But it had a little bit more damage, but all good. I go actually did not block. I'm shocked. Oh, <laughs> I can't let you do that, player. Uh oh. Nothing's happening. He's going to level up now. Into the Mecha Yoda form. What the heck is that? Light is a lure in the dark. The Nexus is tough. Last path. So if I kill that, does that mean my Nexus is tough? Also, he got healed, healed back to 40, didn't he? <laughs> okay. The darkness is up to 4. That's a little annoying. Uh, we can't kill Viger though, which is probably just the play. He's just gonna play a second one though, isn't he? Uh, no, he doesn't have the mana for it right now. Okay, well for now. Let's kill Viger. Naga Kabura sends her blessing. Okay, I'm going to attack everything. Let's. Um, how am I killing this? Probably like this, right? Oh, yeah, my next is going to be tough. Nice. Next, I'm almost dead here. But that's. That's like, assuming he doesn't block, which obviously he's going to block. Your fear. Yeah, down twenty-four. Fortunately, my ruler's row is not getting too much value because we just don't have board space. I'm still alive. There is light yet within me. <laughs> uh, what the heck is this one? One candle. Yeah, Interesting. Oh, we got a little bit of. A little bit of Viger. They're still not dying. Okay, well that goes down. I also started to run into the mind of fact that um, our hand's not yeah. that great. I they need to start casting these rushes just so we have uh, um, some cards. I mean, it does invoke and give me two cards, so. Let's uh, pass for now. Uh, Vigor's attacking. Why? Cut the breath from them. Why is Vigo attacking? No. 
nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. Uh, so that's the one that gives... No, that's not the one I was thinking it was. Okay, no mind. Okay, still alive. <laughs> and again, we probably want to kill this, so let's pull it like that. They're still not quite dead. I really probably should just be using these just so I, you know, aren't wasting so much mana, but that's okay. Another new one. Where's this one? Those cost two less. <laughs> but once it dies, they cost one more. Nice. Oh, it's got a. I was wondering what this three was because it's countdown two. It's got a, this item on it. Huh, interesting. Okay. Uh, how much is this darkness? It's at five. Okay, so it's not killing Z. Probably should do this. I don't, not so sure if I even kill him on the open attack now. Don't have the bullet space for this, unfortunately. Please go away. Is he dead here? Oh uh, yeah, he's probably dead. What are you wearing? Yep. Okay. Not an interesting fight though. And we have some fun though. <laughs> I don't know, still a little on the easy side though, but that was to be expected. I cannot imagine taking that on as a level 1 champion though, it seems a little difficult. Let's see how much experience that actually gives us too. Stupid minion, stupid mech. <laughs> Only a hundred? Not even a hundred, only seventy. Jeez. So they're not gonna be leveling up very quickly if you found that one. Okay. Well that was quite an interesting experience. We're gonna call it quits there. Be back tomorrow.